Okay guys, let's solve the very first question on lead code, which is two sum. So we're given an array of integers nums and another integer target. And we want to return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to target. So here we have two, seven, 11, 15. Well, your two values that sum to nine are two and seven. We return their indices, which are zero and one. Note that you can assume each input would have exactly one solution. And so we know that that solution will be there. And there's an extra constraint that you may not use the same element twice. So here in this example, well, technically three plus itself is equal to the target of six, but you would have to use a different number. So that's why we do two and four. And the last example shows you could have three and a different three because you would return different indices. You just can't use the same exact number more than once. So in this example, we're given the list of numbers three, two, two, three, and our target value is six. We know we are going to want to return zero and three because those are our indices that add up to six. So the easiest solution is to look at all possible pairs of numbers. So we'll start looking at three. So we're looking for a number that sums with three. We'll start looking at two and we say, okay, does three plus two equal that? No, that's going to be five. So that doesn't work. We'll then go through further in the array. Well, of course that doesn't work either. And then we get over here. We say, okay, well, we have three plus three that equals six. The indices are not the same and so that would be a good answer. Now, while that worked pretty well for now, this is actually an O of n squared algorithm because in theory, you'd have to look at this number and compare it to this, this, and this. And then you would have to take this number and compare it to all of the other ones. That is going to give you an O of n squared runtime, which is very slow. Now, can we use a hash map? We have nothing at first, so we'll definitely make the numbers the keys and we'll store its associated index. And so we'll go through, we'd get that two is stored at index one. Now, when we're at this point, we actually get to the fact that we've seen two before. And so when we go to put that in the dictionary, actually, it's just going to update the value. And it turns out that that's okay. We'll simply just switch that to the later index. So it's forgetting the earlier index. We'll just use the later one. We'll do two is two. And same thing with the three over here. We are just going to update its index and we can simply make it a three. Now, if we go through the numbers this time, we're going to say, okay, well, X is three. We're looking for a value y which is equal to six minus three which is equal to three we ask if that is a key in our hash map in constant time and so it is it is right here okay so what's the index for this well notice that this is quite fine actually because we have our earlier index and the one that is stored in the hash map is the later index so we can ensure that zero is not equal to three we can ensure that our indices are not the same one meaning that this is a valid solution now we know for this solution, we just need to return the indices, which are going to be a list of 0, 3. 3, 0 would work as well. And we can actually guarantee that a solution exists as we go through the array because of the constraint of the problem. As we can see, you may assume each input would have exactly one solution. So we're good to go. So now our code is not too bad. We have a dictionary or hash map H, and we'll go through the numbers once to build up our hash map. We'll say for I in the range of the length of numbers that we have, go through all the valid indices, and we'll simply set h at nums at i. So that is the value we're looking at. We'll set the value as the key and we want that to equal its index. And if we ever see duplicate numbers, this will automatically update it so that the index is the later one. And we'll do another pass through the numbers. We'll do for i in the range of the length of numbers one more time. And we'll say, okay, well, we're looking for a number y, which is equal to target minus the number we're looking at, which is nums at i. So we're looking for y. If y is in the hash, map that's great we have a sum except we also need to ensure that the index which is stored at h at y we need to make sure that's not equal to the same index we're using right now and if that's true we have our sum we're not using the same number twice so we can simply return the list of our two indices which is i and h at y and we should be able to run this we'll see that our solution is great and i hope that was helpful have a great day guys